Hey everybody, Jason here with some new features already in the latest betas for LaunchBox and BigBox. And uh, I just put out this latest beta just a few moments ago. Um, and we have all kinds of fun stuff uh, that we haven't seen before in these latest betas that we just put out this week. The first thing that we've added is this image type uh, thing here in both LaunchBox and BigBox that will let you easily switch between all your various image types inside your views which is very, 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 very fun. Uh, so if we click the image type dropdown, uh, we can switch it up to say 3D boxes and instantly you have your 3D boxes here or we can switch it up to carts and you can view all your carts. Uh, there's 3D carts, uh, which are pretty neat. Screenshots. So right now this is, this is configured to show all the title screens for all your games and then clear logos. Uh, and this is, of course, all the logos. So that's a whole lot of fun. Uh, that allows for some awesome uh, tweaking and customization. And we have provided um, an even greater um, series of customization features uh, in the options screen here. So if you pull up options under images for, for each one of these different types, you have front, back, 3D box, cart front, cart back, 3D cart, background screenshots, all these different types of images can be customized as far as the priorities as they come from Emu Movies and the LaunchBox Games database. So if we take a look at box front, for example, uh, the priorities are if there's a box front on the game, it's gonna show that first. Then you have box front reconstructed, which is a type from the LaunchBox Games database where someone has rebuilt it to make it more perfect. You have advertisement flyer front, which is good for arcade, uh, box 3D, uh, fan art box front, steam banner, banner. So if, for example, all these types of images were missing, but you had a steam banner, it would show the steam banner. Um, and this is all in, in uh, prioritization order. So you can, you can move these up and down and you can, you have this, this level of tweaking available for every single one of these different image types. So all these, all these, you know, boxes, 3D boxes, carts, you can customize what images show up for each of these different levels, each, each of these different image groups. Uh, so really we have, with the latest betas, we got incredible uh, amounts of customization options for these images. You can really customize it however you want. Uh, no more having to put uh, the wrong types of images in, in, in for the images that you use because you wanted to show up in different places, that kind of thing. That's all easy to tweak now. Uh, and I really like being able to switch quickly between um, all the different image types. That's a lot of fun. The um, <clears throat> one thing important to note is that uh, when you first load these up, obviously it will need to, to populate all the images from the cache. But once you've populated them all from the cache, or you've, you've populated the cache, then everything is instantaneous. And you don't have to wait for them to, to load after doing that. So that's really great. Uh, so that's the launch box side. We've also added these features into big box. So let's go ahead and open up big box. And so here's the, the simple platform screen. Um, I have hooked up a hotkey here for switching images. So even in here, we can just press the hotkey, which I have set to the I key. And you'll notice that uh, we have the images populating here. Uh, when we switch the image type for the various other image types, which is really, really great. So that's that. Uh, we can get into, let's go take a look at uh, the options here real quick under uh, options and then under game images, you have the game image type. You can switch that up to whatever you want. And then uh, under keyboard mappings, you have your switch image type key and under controller buttons you have switch image type as well so you can assign that to a button you're going to need to be able to you're going to need to do that in order to be able to to uh, use a hotkey to switch these because they're both they're both uh, set to nothing by default so we'll go back out and take a look at some of these other, these other views um, so we can go into the cover flow view of course and here you're looking at 3d boxes we can switch it up and get carts in the cover flow and 3d carts and screenshots and clear logos all that stuff and of course this applies for all the other views as well so 
you have full flexibility, which is really quite a lot of fun. Let's take a look at some other views. This is the uh, view that I took away because I didn't like it and then had to bring it back because uh, everybody loved it so much and I wasn't aware of that. So I did bring it back. This is really kind of neat. The 3D boxes work really well in this view. Screenshots and then clear logos are kind of big. This is a beta, so I do plan on coming back to address that in this particular view. Okay, and then uh, boxes, 3D boxes, all that stuff. So, all, a whole lot of uh, customization options that we've just added here in the past week. So let's see, what other views do we have? Okay, so we have the, the, the classic view here, the old school view, and of course that will just allow you to switch up that single image. And then we can go into the clear logos, and it's the same thing. But that's about it. That is uh, the new stuff that we've added in the past week. Um, hope you guys are enjoying all these new features. Um, let us know uh, how you like the stuff, what is what needs to happen next. Uh, going forward, we have a bunch of stuff lined up yet. I still need to go back in and uh, clean up the custom views, uh, custom themes, add a plugin system. So we really have our, our work cut out for us, but all kinds of exciting stuff coming up here very quick. So thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon.